So we are going on a little bit of a journey today. We're gonna head up north. I'm gonna meet my friends there. We're gonna take some nice shots around this beautiful area that has lots of palm trees. Maybe take the drone up. So let's go. Let me show you what exactly I used to create that little intro sequence. First and foremost, we have M Journey, which is an amazing pack to have if you create travel videos and vlogs, or if you just like to create videos of your experiences journeying places. Out of the four plugins I used in the intro, I used this one the most. I used Typography 8 for this lower third down here, and for the title, I went with Typography 9. So I just dragged it over my footage, I trimmed it down by pressing Option and right bracket, and I made adjustments to the size and position by using my on-screen controls here. Here. Then you can go into your inspector window and change what the text says, as well as the font if you'd like. You can also change the letter tracking if you want and adjust the position of the subtitle or the title by using the offset parameters. MJourney also comes with 11 transitions and these are bomb. For example, for this shot, I use transition one. And after you plop one of these bad boys in between your clips, you can head into the inspector window and make adjustments to lots of different things. For this transition, I can adjust the rotation value, the bulge amount, if I want the prism effect or not, and you have different options for your light leaks. I also use transition nine in the intro, which is this smooth slide transition and a smooth zoom out transition as well. I added tons of other different titles and add-ons from M Journey, like this location title, as well as these little weather pop-ups. This multiple screen pop-up is really easy to use as well. All I did was find the multiple screens preset and adjust it for the duration that I'd like. Then I headed into my inspector window to select the media that I wanted to use for the drop zones. If your media is already color graded to your liking, you can just select that in the library or on the timeline. But what I actually did since I shot in log was I color graded the clips on the timeline and then made them into these compound clips as you can see here. This allows me to select them in my library with the color grade and different effects already set. Easy as that. A lot of you have probably seen our tutorials on how to track cool 3D text that comes with the M-Tracker 3D expansion pack. But how many of you know that you can use M-Tracker 3D for just about any Motion VFX title plugin? For example, let's track this target location preset to the right of this shot here, so it looks like it's actually there in the shot. First, I'll drag the preset over my shot and adjust it how I want it in the inspector window. You don't need to worry about getting the position right, just the color and what the text says. We'll adjust the position and size with M-Tracker 3D. I'll make sure to turn off the animation in and out points, and you'll see why in a bit. Head into your effects and find M-Tracker 3D and track your clip. Once that's done, hit copy track and go into M-Tracker 3D in your titles and find logo. You can also use one of the drop zone presets. Drag this over your shot for the duration that you'd like, then head into your inspector window, click paste track so that the tracked metadata is transferred to this title, go to your drop zone, and select that clip, and then hit apply. We can now just delete that title, and we'll see that our title is cut off here. If that happens, just go to logo inside scale, or logo pan, and pan the logo till it's in frame. Adjust the size if you need to as well. Then click this button that looks like crosshairs and select the point on your clip where you'd like the title to be tracked to. Here, the title goes out of frame, so I'll scale it down to find it and then position it using the pan parameters. Lastly, I'll turn off animation in and out. If you want the title to animate in and out, obviously keep these on. And you'll see now that we have this cool tracked 3D target. And you can do this with any title that you'd like, even some of the more traditional titles in M Journey. 
The whole intro was graded with M-Film look to give it that cinematic professional feel. Watch how simple it is to use. I'll find M-Film look in my effects and double click to apply. Open your inspector window and double click on this top inspector bar so it extends so we can see more. Now this shot was shot in S-Log3, so we'll need to convert it to a Rec. 709 color space. Doing so is as easy as this. Color space, and I'll choose S-Log3 version 3. Now all you have to do is toggle on your levels and adjust the contrast to your liking. I want to make sure that she's not too underexposed here, so I'll head to In Gamma and raise this a bit. If I want, I can adjust the vibrance and sharpness and stuff here. But instead, I'm going to keep it a little less saturated and head down to the LUT section to find a LUT that I want. I'll go with Karina, which can be found in the Motion VFX LUT pack, MLUT Film 2. And then if you want, you can adjust the intensity of that LUT as well. Let's head up and add an off-screen flare. I'll change this to manual so it doesn't move automatically on me. And I'll click this so my on-screen controls pop up. If you'd like, you can change the size and position, as well as the intensity and the hue with these on-screen controls. Also, if you want a different flare, just head into the flare presets. Maybe I'll add some chromatic aberration, which will add a bit of color fringing along the edges of things towards the perimeter of my shot. And you can add a bit of blur if you'd like, as well as film grain, but I'm going to leave those off here. I won't add a vignette or a letterbox to this shot either, but you do have that option. This was the shot before, and this is the shot after using M-Film Look. Last but not least, to help those shots flow a little smoother together, I used M Transition Zoom 3, which is one of our most popular transition packs that comes with tons of different options for zoom transitions. You can customize your own from scratch, as you can see with this custom section, and others are stylized and ready to use. Let's use one of the pre-animated options. Let's go with the wipe down option, which looks like our shot here will be pushed down, making way for our drone shot above. Once it's on your clips, you can adjust the duration by dragging here. And if we head into our inspector window, you'll see that we still can make a lot of adjustments to this. We can adjust the movement strength. We can add more or less blur if we'd like. We can adjust the bulge of the shot. And we can adjust or turn this prism effect on or off. Then let's head to the top in the custom section and find custom zoom in. We'll drag this between these clips, adjust the duration, and what I want to do is use this point here to adjust where we zoom into our shot. I'm going to have it aim at the left side of the screen where there's people in shot one, and then I'll head into the inspector window to make some adjustments. I'll increase the blur strength, I'll lower the bold strength a bit, and I will turn off the prism effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, let me know that you did in the comments, and make sure to press the subscribe button if you haven't already. Have a great rest of your day.